Welcome back. Hey, Josh. His old painting. Ah, oh, you can see go. the artiste. Have we ever seen this person yes. at all? Okay, we did. We just never came back. Hello. So let's just kind of dive through this. Mm. 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 You want to be this person? Le Gasp. Could it be? Ah, finally, some company. <laughs> I've been alone for so long, but after what feels like an eternity, at last, I have an audience. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> Who am I, you ask? Why, I am the great up-and-coming artist, Rokoko! Okay. This guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. No, no, no! No, I'm just, no, don't go! Please listen to my story. Excuse us. <laughs> Please listen, I'm so lonely! Lonely, lonely, lonely. <clears throat> right. Now where should I start? In the beginning was me. Crying in a pod in the middle of space. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. I'm a Saiyan. I can't rem I can remember it all so vividly. Fire. Fire. Everywhere. And the darkness. And then darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert. Surrounded by the sea of brown sugar and a strange land I soon learned to be called Orange Oasis. You'll see it later. Even as a baby. I knew I was the sole survival of my species, the last elf in the entire universe. <laughs> it's very okay, I guess I'll sit down. So this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young donut by the name of Sweetheart. She brought me to her family and they took me in as one of their own. It was kinda neat. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win. She was a bit of a winner. If I fought back, well, uh, it's a, ooh, ooh. Anyway, I learned to run, and I got quite good at running, but there's only so far you can run. Yeah, it was a hard time, but even through that suffering, I stood firm, because even then, I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason and one reason only. To repopulate the entire species. You know, you know, hard fucking. There's, there's a conspicuous gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, <gasps> became engaged, and moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. You know, sex stuff. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together. Grow old. You raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Like I said. Sex stuff. Thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. Whoops. Anyway, continuing my story. Alas, all good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fan base grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her a one true love, I was vehemently against the notion. But she would not have it. No! Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. It's my sweetheart impression, by the way. So, uh, one night when I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. Fun! You know, as you do. I've been wandering aimlessly through the dark inside the walls ever since. Surviving off old toast and tofu. You know, dead people and dead sprout moles. Hmm. Fast forward a few more years, and that brings us to now. Yes. You four are the first living beings I've seen since that fateful day. As I finally moved those paint cans out of the way. Wow, sir, that's really a shocking story. Oh, sweetheart, why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. She's kind of a bitch. We're anyway. gonna go now. We did not finish yet! More story! <sighs> For the last few years, I have long time, I have had a long time to think. I kind of gave up on my dreams and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, I decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. You know? I mean, better than nothing. Yeah, I like to paint. You guys wanna see this shit I painted up here? I call this one nothing. Ah, and since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. Cool. Twinkle. 
For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clamorinos. Uh -huh. Well, what do you guys think? 1,000 clams is kind of steep, isn't it? Please commission me! We will think about it. Ah, yes, of course. Do take your time. We have a thousand clams. I'll stand right here. I don't. We I have, think we do. We have to wait until we can make some big cash at the casino or something. Oh. I mean, you could, I guess. That's a decent amount of cashola, but sure, sure, I'll pay you. That Le Magnificent! Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatest things done. Can you just leave and come back, or what? Uh, I don't know. I won't disappoint you. Let's Maybe if it was like later in the game? Maybe? Please return. Yeah. Home. Yeah. I feel like if it was later in the game, you could probably just come back and yeah. it would be so done. I think we just kind of forgot to return when we uh, did it last time. Mm -hmm. like, we should do that. And then we begin. All right. Now we need to leave the um, did premises. We, did we heal? Did we heal? I'm just going to heal. Oh, pickles. Would you like to insert them in your mouth without chewing them up? Swallow I would like to chew them because I'd probably die. You might. You might die, but what if Might's you don't? save. Murray, pick me, I have to pee. Well, you can go pee. No, I'm going to hold it. Until what? Until All right, this is probably the way out. Uh, oh, yeah, this. Oh, it's you. Pessy. I love sweetheart. Why? So much that I have acquired tickets to the most prestigious sweetheart's quest for ultimate. <laughs> Although I was unable to obtain an ultra rare impossible to obtain front row ticket, I had them. my reputable salesman has assured me that my ticket will still seat me in a prime location. He has also assured me that the event will start very soon, so I have to I have been waiting here in line for many, many hours. It's over, dude. Hmm. I wonder if we should tell him. Should we? Oh. I am sure that at any moment the event will begin and I will be guided to my seat by none other than Sweetheart herself. Nah, she's gone, dude. Now, as I am the truest Sweetheart fan, I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful... What is it? What's this? It, it's... It's <laughs> missing! That's not good. No. My most precious thing! My singy. I will not be able to attend my dream event without it! Where did my singy go? Mm. You four! Since you're undoubtedly lesser sweetheart fans, I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me! I'm not lesser! You'll know it when you see it! I love sweetheart! Oh ho ho, yuck yuck! <laughs> I love the way she sweethearts and you stuff. You four! Heck yuck yuck! Yuck! <laughs> yuck. Okay. Hello. Uh oh. Wow, what an explosive finale. Isn't Sweetheart just the greatest? Yeah, she's pretty good. I couldn't help but over here. That guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something pre precious, perhaps? Yeah. We might be able to help you with that. Yeah. Mm, this guy seems awfully shady. He's got What's a the knife. catch? He's, shady mole. He's got a noise. As you may already know, we sprout moles are very intelligent and high functioning creatures. That's not true. The smartest of, uh, of us all, oh, the mayor, is creating a device that will help sprout walls do their work at a much higher capacity than what was previously possible. A fabled device of legend that, when complete, will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the BED. The BED? What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Give me the BED first, and then we'll talk. A, a BED? BED, huh? That seems simple enough. Take my line. Wait, Kel, I don't know. <laughs> Seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should give him a BD and see what happens. If you say, if you think so, hero, but uh, something about him rubs me the wrong way. I think it's the knife. I think it's. Oh, uh, where's the mayor? The mayor? I don't know. I did not deliver the package. Why not, you fucking asshole? Wow, Jesus. man. An asshole. Wow, man. Is the mayor. You find the mayor. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Okay. Uh, last night I asked, uh, "Where's my son?" He, this guy said. <laughs> he asked him to analyze my latest invention, the BED, and I'm longing to hear the results. I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Sleeping. All right. Where is he? 
<gasps> All this trade has made me so hungry. I really wish I had some tofu right now. Yes, I will give it. Why, well, thank you for the tofu. I really needed that. In exchange, here's my most pri prized possession. Big air horn. Use a big air horn on sleep mill? Yeah. <gasps> Jesus! Eek! Who are you? Oh, no, I'm late! Could it be that I... No. I must have overslept. But sprout moles don't oversleep. This BED, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I better tell dad about this. My god, son, where have you been? I... I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, my son? Or son. <laughs> you know, you can tell me anything. Last night, while I was testing the BED, I, 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 I overslept. No, it can't be. If what you've said is true, then all my research, this invention, the BED, it's all too powerful. You see, my theory about that, that a BED would help sprout moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the day, but... What good is it if the very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead? The BED has the potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again. Hey, you there! Child! Take this BED away from us! We have no need for such power. Got it. Now be gone and speak- <laughs> Oh well. What did I miss? Uh, I got the BED and I'm gonna what give it to this guy. It's a bed. Whoa, what? Really? Do my ass to I don't believe it. It's a BED. A real genuine bona fide BED. I have one of those. I'm gonna use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you, so you guys should help us. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with all the attitude? It may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. It's been shady. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow, digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. A sprout mole with a big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa! That sounds like Rosa. That menace Rosa's at it again. Come on, Amori, we gotta make your... Hand over Pessy's things? No matter what. Mm. Ah! There is... Bad. I think Rosa's place That's is down this way. That's bad. Rosa's a bad girl. I'm gonna spank her bum next time I see her. Said Kel. I think her place is here? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Rosa. So Rosa jigs up! Why are you here? I'm angry. Go away! <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart ran off with the blasted space boy! Again! <sighs> sweetheart was only a few doors away. But now she's flown galaxies away. How will I follow her now? Do I look like I could fly to you? Anybody can do anything if they try. I don't I don't know if whatever I get to say there. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing. Give it back. Give, give it back. This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart prune merchandise? I found it fair and square, so... It's finders keepers. Oh, shit, she's right. Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey, Rosa. Why don't you and I try to work something out? No, I don't want to hear it. There's no way I'm giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection. Now get out of my house! Oh, no. I like how Hiro was just saying that on the ladder. <laughs> He's just like, hey. No way I'm, I'm giving you that. my valuable collection. Why the hell not? Biz! How do I get it? I don't know. Do you have to switch to, like, a different character? Maybe Aubrey could convince her with her bat. With violence? With violence. Oh, no. Nope, that didn't work. Maybe we have to go talk to the thief and be like, she's, she's not doing one. Try Hero again. Nah. She's not. She's not. We've done this too. I don't remember how it happened. We're stupid. Go talk to the thief guy. Okay. The shady mole. He might have like, oh yeah, I think he has like dirt or something on oh, it. Oh yeah, he's got blackmail. Blackmail. He's got blackmail. Got it. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, 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 Gonna don't, blackmail don't. a little mole. Let's go blackmail. <laughs> Rose being difficult again, huh? Yeah. Figures. She's always been like that. <sighs> you know? Let me stab her. Here, take this and show it to her. There's no way she will refuse you after seeing this. You got blackmail. I got blackmail. Now leave me in my new bed alone. Our business is done here. All right. I'm gonna show that little girl some blackmail. 
found no blackmail. A little more. Hey, Rosa, I know you killed that guy. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell everybody if you don't give me that sweet merch. That thing you stole from Pessy. Back again. And hmm. boat time, you too. You amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. <laughs> Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, Cal. Is it true that... It's true that Rose is a real pain, but I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to... Hey, Rosa! Check this out! It's blackmail! On you, specifically! Eh. Where, where did you get that? Shady mole. I've changed my mind. Please, kind sir. Uh, I'll give you anything you want. Ooh. Just politely hand over the blackmail at once. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, you wanted Pessy's thing, right? Yeah. Fine, whatever. Take it. It's yours. Now give me that blackmail. This is a sweet trade. I never do it! You traded blackmail for Pessy's thing. You did it. It's on fire. Wow. What do you think was in there? What, do you, oh, think, what wow. do you think Rosa did? I'm gonna need you to get out of my house. You already got what you wanted. Now scram, I say. Oh, sorry. I'll go. Doing okay? She did terrible things. Terrible, terrible, He's doing okay. terrible thing. Bessie, I got your thing. I got your thing. I blackmailed someone. Oh, you found it, my precious thing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave Pessy, Pessy. Thank you. I say, thank you. I say again. You're welcome. In return for your selfless deed, I bestow upon you the ultimate gift. Orange juice, right? Oh, a sweetheart bus. That's even Sweet. better. Ah, oh, isn't it beautiful? May it find you joy the rest of your day. What does that oh, do? Yeah, 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 yeah. What does the, what does the bus do? I don't remember. Also, what was the thing? Pessy's thing? Yeah, what was it? I don't know. I have so many questions. What was Pessy's thing? What do we blackmail Rosa with? How are you? I think those are my three questions. Pretty good questions. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if I'll ever get answers to them. Probably not. That sucks. Sorry. Alright, <laughs> let's save the game. This music is a good uh, mix of creepy and soothing. I get it. I think I gotta fall asleep to it, but then I'd have nightmares. Bing bong! Pluto, let's take us to the orange juice station. The orange juice station. <laughs> Actually, yeah, station. we gotta take the trade. Yeah, we've never been to the orange juice station. I gotta pee. Why? Wow, we're peeing our faces off over here. Rootin' tootin' cowboy. He's a rootin' tootin' cowboy boy. Did you know? He likes doors. And he also likes floors. Did you know that he's a pretty good kisser in bed? Did you also know something else? I like Lindsay, but she's peeing, so she's not here playing Amori with me. Where do we go? I think we have to go to Vast Forest and then... I always think Otherworld is like just like the other world. It's not actually... It ain't. It ain't. The, it ain't. The sky. Who is Pluto? What did Pluto sound like? I don't remember. I don't remember. Probably like... I am Pluto. Seats. That'll do. Oh, we should probably water the flowers. It's been a while. Does it even matter? Like, probably we're not, not leaving this place. Nope. Hey. Why not? You know what? I like to have hey, nice flowers. Hey, comments. Do we need to water these? Probably not. I think it's only for that one ending. Yeah, so we can see the smiling basil and the darkness leave his body. I mean, that would be very sad to not get that ending. Oh, man, it, it would not have been the same. It's like, I want to know if he's okay. That, that scene added a lot for me. It really did. Just like it gave me some closure because yeah. that, I mean, the other part doesn't necessarily give you closure because you're like, well, what happened? Exactly. How did it go? Probably not well, but you know. I mean, it can only go so well. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think when you're like, oh, hey, you know that thing that happened? Also, it's giving me hearts, so... I mean, that's a plus. That's true. That's true. Oh, yeah, actually, that is true. Hearts are good. Yeah, hearts need... are good for your heart. We're definitely gonna need those. I wonder how many secret, like, extra bosses there's gonna be. The only one I'm, like, sure of is that I know we fight, like, those weird sweetheart robots. Or things, you know, the ones they made. Yeah. In, in the whale. I think that's the only ones I, I know that's of. That's all the... But I'm sure there's more. Should we go see Basil's house? Basil's house is where Basil lives. Basil's house is where Basil lives. We can lives. cut through this. I'm just curious how it looks. 
Beza won't be there. He's not home. We're trying to find him because he's lost. The floor is sinking. Mm. What's that in the water? You see that? Mm, this? On the lily pad. That weird little black oh, and white thing. A little flower? Uh, I guess they're right. Basil isn't in his home. I wonder where that little feller went. I feel like something. one thing you could probably do off screen eh. is a lot of the side quests that we already did. Oh, yeah. I guess like, if I you could. feel like doing that, you probably well, You don't could. have to do them, but. Yeah, it's just if you feel like it. Mm. There's a few that we didn't do, and those we could do. Like, I don't think we ever did Orange Joe's brother thing. Did we not find him? I don't think we did. Uh, we also do Kite Kid and all that shit. Yeah, like that stuff, I feel like you can just kind of do it off screen if you want to. Benny! Because that's not going to change anything Hikamori wise. I don't think. And if it does, you can just be like, oh, I did this off screen and uh, something was different and it was this. And I'll be like, neat. Can I go to the train? And then I'll show a picture, a JPEG of Amori eating some bread. You got plum juice. Look, let's jash. Stop right, right, right there. there! You can't pass without a ticket. Oh, that's a train pass. You got tickets to the gun show. You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very long time. I'm sorry. Well, that isn't all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. I'm a patron. I'm a patron. It's a little foggy. Anything around here? Nope. All right, let's get on the train. Lynn, are you? Oh, I forgot about this. Did you? Yeah, I completely forgot. <laughs> I uh, threw me for a loop the first time. So this is one thing I don't understand, actually. This train? Yeah, just like if anyone has any information on this, I'd love to know. Here is not home. Where is home? Because where is home? To a degree, I get this part because maybe it like has to do with the fact that he's like maybe stressed out about moving, Here's and like home. he doesn't really know where his home is. It's like when I'm home, I don't feel safe, but I also yeah, where is know. my home? Yeah, so like, I get that. I don't get what the nightmare creature here represents. Here is home. Here is not home. Home is not where here is. Because like, you remember, it's like kind of dog-like, isn't it? Yeah. This spooked me the first time. I was not expecting to run into spooks here. Oh. Oh, hi guys. I don't see them. Little crystals. I want to leave. Can't the leave. moving. A case full oh, of little, little bones. I love little bones. A case full of spider webs. Oh, wow. A case full of dirt. Those are my favorite things. Mm -hmm. Am I just to run around until something happens? Yeah, I think so. You. I think so. I'm on a spooky train. I might just go insane. Spooky train. I don't know why I'm here. I don't like the clumps. I do. The I clumps love, of little eyes. Don't like him. I love Clump. He's one of my favorite characters from Donkey Kong. Oh, there, there he is. is. This guy. Like, what, what do you represent? A deer? But, like, there's no mention of a deer anywhere in Mori's life. Like, does it look like... It, I mean, it looks like gross, like, hair. Does mm -hmm. it? I don't, I don't know. know. I what am I supposed to do to this? Just attack it? Sure, if you want. I don't remember. Sunny. What? What is it? It's interesting because everyone's afraid of it except you. Yeah. That is interesting. Yeah, why why don't you why don't you fright of this? You would think you would fright. I guess it's because you're a Mori and you're just like, I don't know what's going on. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Sunny, sunny, sunny. And obviously these are things creeping into his mind, because... Sunny, I'm sorry. What does it mean? Who's sorry? Who's sorry? Am I sorry? What? Somebody explain that to me. I would love... You could probably just Google it. I tried, actually. Recently, though? No, not recently. L ladies and gents, we've arrived! Welcome to Orange Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit in ordinary fashion. Thank you for your patronage, and please ride with us again. Bzz. Bzz. Because obviously it's something creeping into your mind because it calls you sunny and you're not oh, supposed to be weird. sunny here. Toast. Toast. They're all dead. Why are they dead? I don't know. <laughs> Baggage. Baggage. I guess we should leave, right? Okay. Hey. What? We're here. 
Oh, bah. Oh, bah. Look at these cute little critters. Oh, it's the Gator Boys. I like the Gator Boys. Aren't they just giggling? <laughs> Over. Let's go. We gotta talk to Root and Toot and Cowboy. He's gonna fill us with lore juice. And I'm gonna love it. I like Orange Oasis. It's a nice place to be. It is nice. Oh, I remember that little... There's nothing crazy gun. spooky here except, you know, getting here. Dino Dig's pretty spooky. It is. It's hard. At some point, we gotta do the bread thing when we can swim. Yes. Because that's also hard. Yes. I wonder if we should wait until, like, the next day to do that. Like, when we're more leveled up. Hmm. Maybe. Where's Rootin' Tootin'? Rootin' Tootin' is... Right. He's around here somewhere. You have to find the further. bulb. You gotta find the bulb. You should probably bulb. use the D-pad. It's easier. Yeah. Where is it? He's around here. Oh, oh yeah. there he is. There he is. There he is. Let's go see him. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. We've never talked to him before. No. So he, he doesn't have <laughs> a voice yet. We came back yet. and we're like, oh shit. I'm free. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You could get from me. It's a dandelion. Excellent, excellent. I remember I was so excited to see him too. Yeah, and then we saw him and we're like, oh. Gone. I think every time he came on screen, I was just like, look at him or some shit. Alright, here he is. How you do, Buckaroo? Name's Mr. Outback, and I was busier than a moth and a mitten traveling the world in my youth. Nowadays, I'm more reserved. I stand on a cliff and give advice to those who are willing to ask. Them folks who've been here long, they know more than they're letting on. We got a third eye, you could say. A sixth sense, if you get my drift. Your three purple-haired friends are full of love and spirit. But you, dark-haired kiddo, yours are cattywampus. Cattywampus. Yeah. It's all dark and twisted. And it ain't mellowing down anytime soon. You got a real journey ahead of you. Now that's not to discourage you, boy. Everyone's got their own journey. And I'll be obliged to tell you all on yours. I help you all on yours. I'm gonna help you. I can answer a handful of questions. So ask away if you so desire. What do you want to ask? Can I ask Lindsay? all of them? Yeah, right? Okay, where am I? Where am I? Hoo-wee! That's a good one. Now where do I start? Hmm, well, this place has been around since the beginning of time, I reckon. Looks different to everyone. But this time around, it's pretty colorful and cutesy for the most part. Not to mention, pretty damn big. That's a powerful imagination you got there, kiddo. And that's all she wrote. Did you want me to tell you something else? Yes. Handful question. Where's Basil? Basil? Well, your friend ain't here, that's all I can say. But I think you know you have a way of knowing that answer. When someone looks for the truth, the world will create a set of keys. And those keys, they take a different form depending on the person's will. You know what your keys look like. They look like computer keys. Press L. You'll see the keys. Mm. That's all she wrote. Yes. More. I got, I got, how old are you? How old are you? How old is ye? Don't you know not to ask old folks that? I say give or take 33,000 years though. But it's not like that matters as much at all at this point. That's all she wrote. That's all I got for you, motherfucker. That all he has? That's all I got. Get. You don't want to know nothing from an old grizzly like me. Whatever floats your boat. But I'll be here. Rooting and tooting for you. He's a rooting tooting cowboy. That's it? Yeah. We got our lore. We did it. We did it. What did we learn? Uh, oh. Well, I mean, we, we already know all this stuff about, you know, this being a place in your head and it's your imagination and luscious candy apples. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the basil's hidden behind the truth and you gotta collect the keys to get to the truth and that guy's 33,000 years old. Have a picnic. Okay, Lim. Uh -huh. It's time uh -huh. to kill the rain people. I'm not killing them. It's time. The brown sugar feels go good on my feet. That'd be so sticky. I almost want to pick it off and eat it. That's disgusting, Kel. Why would you even think that? Don't judge You're me. You're so weird. Not weird. 
We all have weird thoughts sometimes. Intrusive thoughts. Cal just doesn't think before he says them out loud. I don't, I don't think. I consider that a good thing. If you got something to say, then say it. Poopy. That's just wrong, Kel. You shouldn't always, you should always think before you speak. Have some self-awareness. Says who, you miss bossy pants. I have plenty of self-awareness. I'm, I know where I am right at all times. I know where I am. Yeesh, loosen up, you two. Balance, guys, it's all about balance. Hero, you coward. That's the laziest <laughs> answer I've ever heard. I expected better from you. Oh man, what does say now? I don't know, he's got a point. Moderation, man. It's the cool thing to do. Let's save the game. A little bit from column A, a little bit from column B. Now, should we take a break? We could, yeah. Are you getting peckish? Yeah, I think I'm getting a little peckish. Getting a little peckish. So next time on Game Face, perhaps we'll go into the hole, or do we have more to do in Orange Oasis? I mean, we could always just come back to Orange Oasis. Yeah. I don't, is anything locked off in Orange Oasis besides this guy? Uh, we can't do the bread stuff yet. We can't do it. Oh, yeah, we got to swim. Yeah, we got to be able to swim. Mm. I would say any of, like, the... Um, Side quest that we've already done. If you want to do that off screen, that's completely okay with me. Well, then we probably need to like, take a break from the game so I can get that done. If you want me to do it, I it don't... doesn't have to be done. Oh though. well, that's. Fine. I'm just saying, like, if you feel like playing some Amori and you want to do some of the side quests that we did in our other playthrough, like it's not going to be any different anyway. Yeah. So I think that's fine. Mm. Main story stuff, I think we should still do on screen. Of course. So when we come back, we'll jump into a big hole and enter a library and continue our. And then it's time to go underground water, right? Underwater? I think so eventually, yeah. Sweet. We're getting closer to new territory. Yeah. It's exciting. Once we get, well, that's the thing. You do the underwater stuff and then you do Humphrey. Yeah. So yeah. we And it's probably going to diverge from there. Yeah. We, we got a ways to go, but like we're getting there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time on Game Face. More, 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 more. Hold on, Lindsay. What? There's a bunny with a cupcake on its back. Is that a cup? No, that's a shake. That's a cup shake. It's a shake. It's got a straw. It's a cup shake. He's shaking his bootay thing. Goodbye.